The School of Sport and Exercise Sciences was the first school to offer a single honours sports science degree way back in 1975. And since that time we've gone on to validate two other very successful programmes, a BSc Honours in Science and Football and a BSc Honours in Applied Sports Psychology that's also accredited by the British Psychological Society. All the work that we do is very scientifically focused. So when the students come here to study whichever one of the three degrees they do, they learn science in the context of sport and then we teach them how to apply that into the communities we serve. The Research Institute was established in 1997. RISES is about uh, maximising the potential of people. It's maximising the potential of our research students, getting them uh, qualifications to go out into the world, maximising the output of our high quality staff in terms of how they are assessed nationally and internationally, but also maximising the potential of, of the people that we work with. Liverpool John Moores does really prepare you for the world of work and the researchers always kind of relate their research back to the applied setting really well and also the placement opportunities that you're given. Um, I've already undergone three placement opportunities in like a variety of sporting environments which I think I've learnt a lot from. I'm currently on an internship at Liverpool Football Club as an analyst with the first team, the reserves and the academy. On a typical day, I prepare documents for the match at the weekend, so I maybe look at set plays from the team that we're playing, and find out who's marking who. I'll put this into a document and give it to the manager or the coach. I'm a Great Britain international athlete. My event is 400 metre hurdles. Being at Liverpool John Moores will increase my chances of making the Olympics. Firstly, with the flexibility of the scholarship I'm on, they provide the financial support. Also, with having the physio on site, if I have any problems, I can get them sorted straight away instead of having to go through the doctors, then getting a referral onto physio. Also, the facilities as well, with them being on campus, even if it's just using the Dexter scanner or the VO2 max test these can all benefit my performance. The facility is obviously a top notch here and the availability of the lecturers to be able to help you out with any problems you have and obviously the freedom of the lab that you can, like if you have an idea that you want to pursue, it's feasible to do it basically. It's not like some far-fetched dream that try it out, see if it works and troubleshoot as we go along. I started at Liverpool John Moores University in 1993 uh, on the BSc in Coaching Science. The grounding out that I got at Liverpool John Moores University was fantastic. It was an understanding of theory but then also how to apply it in the real world. I studied uh, Master Sports Psychology at uh, John Moores University. came here in 2007. Well, the most exciting thing is you know, I'm working with young players who uh, are aspiring to get to the top. You know, I pinch myself every day. Uh, I know the philosophy, the university's dream, plan a G, but I, that wasn't even a dream really. I didn't think for one second I'd be working at Liverpool Football Club, you know, it's incredible. Before I come to John Rose University, I used to do my own diet stuff and my own conditioning and, you know, this, is, this has come to a different level now, you know, boxing has moved on in times and I could do sports and I've gone from really from scratch to, to the very top of my game and it's helped me progress right through my career. We have many collaborative uh, research projects between the Council of Chester Hospital, where I work as a consultant cardiologist at Liverpool John Moores University. We primarily look at the uh, effects of exercise uh, on athletes' hearts. There is absolutely no doubt that having started working with Liverpool John Moores University, uh, our research um, has become exponential. Uh, there, there's a huge access uh, to different sporting disciplines here. There's a great ethos here of high research standards. If you just go through the amount of papers and research that are put out every year uh, and the way that they're actually viewed around the world, uh, this is an excellent place to work and for me to do further research. I manage uh, the Everton Active Family Centre which is a John Moores University building based within the grounds of Everton Football Club. Everton in the Communities Programme is the only one which is linked up with an academic institution, Liverpool John Moores University, um, to actually find out what's going on on the ground and disseminate the research in um, academic journals and also at international conferences worldwide. 
Face-to-Face -face Sports Science is a series of exhibits and workshops. We'll be going to the Liverpool World Museum and the Manchester Museum of Science and Industry where the public will have the opportunity to come along and basically have a go at lots of different types of um, tests that we run with elite athletes and they can basically compare themselves against, um, against the best in the country. The philosophy of Face-to-Face -face Sports Science is basically open up sports science to all. Um, we want people to come enjoy science, enjoy sport and, and get educated at the same time. Face to face with sports science is, is very important to the department because it's a way that we can try and translate what we do from a science perspective to try and interest the public and engage the public. One of the issues that we have as academics, independent of the topic area, is making sure that our message reaches as many people as possible. Part of it is understanding how elite athletes who people will see on television performing, how they get to where they get and I think face to face with sports science will help explain the science behind that. The other aspect of, of face to face with sports science is getting to the mass population to explain to them how important exercise and sport is for their own well-being and health. What we hope this face to face with sports science will allow us to do is engage people and youngsters that are interested in sport but actually get them, use that as a, as a vehicle to hang the science on so that we can actually provoke and accelerate their interest in science endeavour.